Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Air Hauler 2 with Mimi Heard 37. So, uh, last episode, which was a while back, uh, we ended up down here, Myrtle Beach went down there and opened up a, a base. So now I've got a flight out of there. Uh, we're going to go from Myrtle Beach, KMYR, up to Burlington, KBY. It's just a little uh, northwest there uh, of Raleigh. You can see it's 140, uh, about 145 miles, about 481 pounds of cigarettes. Uh, it should be a fairly short flight, really. Let me make sure. I think I changed the configuration over to cargo, and I did for the Comanche. I figure we'll fly maybe three more episodes. I think we've done two in it, the type rating, and then down here to Myrtle Beach. I have so many small aircraft, but uh, I was thinking like 10 episodes, but man, when you start counting all the aircraft that I've had, or that I have, and how many we've got to go, and how many episodes we're already into this thing, I'm going to cut down on that. All right, so Burlington, KBUI, I just saw this one, by the way. Ah, I won't be able to do that, because that's all the way back down to Myrtle Beach. That pays a ton. Well, I guess, actually, when you look at it, it actually pays less than that per mile. But so that's not actually that bad. All right, anyway, I think I've already got it loaded up. Just let me check. Fly now over to the Comanche. We're using networked mode because, for some reason, Air Hauler 2 doesn't like to load the Comanche. Or FSX doesn't like it or something doesn't like it because it can't get the gear down or something. All right, so we got 51 and a half pounds of fuel, or gallons, sorry, uh, which is 145, or... 145 miles, and we can go 363, so plenty of fuel. Got all the cargo loaded up. All right, so I hate this UTC time. I think we're, f I'm four hours, and so it'd be 16. I don't know, see, it's, it's, uh, see, I hate that. So before 30, I don't like how it changes like that. I would rather just have the standard time, not like that. All right, so that would be 1600 UTC time. Uh, let's see, last position. I don't want to do that because I'm going to start it up manually. This doesn't really matter because I'm going to start up. I know I have to select an FSX. That won't be right anyway. Uh, VFR, we're just going to go up to like 5,500 feet, I figure. Uh, we didn't even show Flight Sim Commander, did we? Whoops. All right, so the wind here at Myrtle Beach is coming in from the north, so we're going to take off on runway 30, uh, 36, heading of 357 degrees, and up to Burlington. The wind is coming from the north, northeast a little bit, so we're going to land on runway 6, heading 060. The airport elevation is 617 feet, so we'll come up here and turn right for our downwind and into the traffic pattern, come back around, and land. Let me just check one thing. It actually does show it. Yeah. All right. So I don't know how to look in FSX. All right. I've got VFR 1600. So we should be uh, good to go. Let's go ahead and move on over to the plane. All right, everybody. Here we are in the plane. We've got a couple Dash 8s over there, it looks like. See, the Twin Otter isn't here. Not looking good, does it? Rainy. It's not too cold. Heck, let's look in here. This thing's got a thermometer. 66 Fahrenheit, 19 Celsius. Not that bad. Everything is loaded up and it's warm enough so we don't have to prime. By the way, I haven't flown this particular plane in. Jeez. I don't, it might have been a month now because I was, I fell in love with FS Passengers and FS Economy again and I kind of do that, like I'll fly something for a long time and just fall in love with it and I had so many uh, Air Hauler 2 episodes already made, it didn't make any sense to keep on flying them when you got uh, like 10 or however many uh, already done, you just needed to upload and stuff. So I'll try to do this by memory, I don't remember everything but we should be just fine. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on the master switch here. Let's put the mixture full. The fuel pump, you see we got fuel pressure. Cut that off. My mixture back to here. So the prop high RPM. Let's go ahead and turn on our beacon light. Now I can't remember 
if we need our fuel pump to be on when we start or not. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. And a little bit here. And mixture can come up. Actually, is this the one after one... After one rotation, you actually hit the mags? I think I might have talked about that in the last one. I'm not totally sure. I fly in so many different things. I'm going to put it just under a thousand. Let me make sure my parking brake. I thought that we were moving there. Fuel pump is off now. Let's go ahead and... Le actually, uh, i increase that to about 70 or so. I'll put it 65. How about that? Should be good. We'll go ahead and turn on our nav lights. I do believe that does turns on the lights inside it, but I think it also does nav lights. Pretty sure instrument lights and nav lights, maybe. Yeah, the red lights on for this side. I've increased my throttle again too much. There we go. All right, let me go ahead and turn on the pedo heat. Avionics master switch. Get all this stuff on. Transponder gonna stand by. And let me get this set up as well. Get all these messages off. That... And I'll resize it a little bit. Yeah, I've done a, a total reinstall, by the way. It was actually a couple weeks ago, but uh, reinstall since I've flown this. So it looks like everything is good to go. Is that off? I can't even tell. I don't know if it should be down and I don't know. Off. I don't know. I thought off was only when it was retracted and we're flying. Yeah, parking brake is coming off. There's no taxi lights here on this plane. Air hauler 2 has got us. Always a good sign. I can't remember if I've ever done a flight without ever uh, being noticed. But I hate having to use network mode. It's kind of odd how you set up. It's not, I guess, that bad, but it's nice when Air Hauler 2 loads everything up, but it doesn't work well with this aircraft. Plus, with A to A, you have to load it manually yourself anyway. All right, and since I'm glad we're going to 5,500. We won't go to 7,500. Hopefully, uh, we don't encounter any icing or anything like that, because I think... Icing, it's not actually 32. I believe it can be in like the mid 40s or something. You can actually get ice. I don't want to be up in those clouds anyway. Move my mic here. Some planes over there. I don't see anybody moving. Uh, I don't know, 1 o'clock. Eh, I guess in the summertime, I guess it would be kind of busy. Planes coming in, people on the tourists. Myrtle Beach is a huge destination for people uh, in the Atlantic states, I know, in the south. I don't know why. I, I prefer Hilton Head Island myself, which is a little bit more to the south. At Myrtle Beach is just a city on the beach. I don't I don't understand quite that appeal. If you go to the beach to relax, but Myrtle Beach, it's like a city. And I don't even remember hardly ever going to the beach at Myrtle Beach. like Because it's, it's just a big city. I don't know... Obviously, they've got beaches there, but I don't remember really ever remember going there. But we always go to Hilton Head Island anyway, although we haven't been to there in not, I don't know, well over a decade. We go over to what's now called Oak Island. They used to call it uh, Long Beach, North Carolina. I think they call it Oak Island now. Curry Beach, everything is over there. Kind of hear jets now. Coming in on my left ear. Probably coming up from over there. Look at something. I hate the views in ATA when you go outside. It doesn't pay attention to Easy Dog for some reason. At least they change this stuff. Alright. Stop right here. Stop right here. I'm going to put on the parking brake. I gotta try and remember how to do our run up. Let's look at our fuel. It should be about 26 and 25. 26 and 26. Fuel pressure is good. Oil pressure good. Ammeter is charging. Uh, oil temperature is good. 
Although, I think some of this stuff we look at when we're actually throttled up. Suction is okay. Make sure it goes to full rich. RPM, I'll go up to about 1800. Let's see if this actually works on the mags, because usually it doesn't. I think that would be a fail, because isn't it 50 on each? That one sucks too. I It never works for me very well. And don't we have to cycle the prop? I thought, I think you want something like, you can't go more than two or three hundred RPMs down though. We can screw up the shaft, I believe. Don't quote me on that. You guys know better than me, a lot of you. So avionics master switch is on. I'm going to go ahead and turn landing lights on, strobe on, fuel pump on, flaps are coming out. I want to beat that plane. He's still taxiing down. Reset my views here. Let's go ahead and we'll get on out of here. Let's go ahead and get on out. Sixty knots. Let's go ahead and rotate. Man, that got up uh, extremely quick. Wow, going a little left. Right, Retta. Positive rate gears coming up. It doesn't sound like it's coming up though. Now it's coming up. I think it was because that switch I put put it in down instead of off I had to hit it twice all right so gears up I'm gonna go ahead and retract the flaps I'm right at a thousand feet a minute I'm gonna hold it right there for a minute Look like we're getting blown to the left I'm trying to straighten her out a little bit Try a left hand fly for a second. Turn the gear off. That nose really came up on me. I had my hands off. Alright, so the autopilot is turned to GPS and not nav, which is what we want. Use it here in a second. See, we're getting in the clouds already. We're only at, coming up on 1,500 feet. Let that autopilot start up and cycle. And those clouds are really low. So I believe that, nope, oh, doesn't act like it's on. Now I think it is. Let me make sure. Did I have it at 357? I had 358. That's all right. Let's see, the heading is what's heck, it's the runway heading all the way to the airport. That's kind of crazy. Well, 357, 358, not exactly the difference. 141 miles an hour, what was that, 15 or 18? I think it's an hour 15. By the way, the scenery is extremely dense uh, for both. Let me go outside real quick. And spin around a couple times. I forgot to do that. I think that helps eliminate spikes and flashes and stuff like that. Five hundred thousand, man. We are gonna get in the clouds. That sucks. I can't remember if I should have cycled prop heat or not. You're on the ground. I don't think you do. Hopefully, you won't need it. But it is getting. It's at 58 now. Across from 3,000 feet. Climbing at 1,000 feet a minute. I think we want to 
I can't remember if it's 2400 or 2300 RPM. I'm going to have to get used to it again. Remember how to fly this thing. There's 24, almost 2500. Let's go ahead and start leaning the mixture. We're already at 3500, almost 3600. 3500 would be about right to fly, it seems. 5500 is going to square in the damn clouds. You know what? Maybe we should just fly at 3500. Let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to bring the power down. I don't want to be in that this ring. So let's head on down to 3500. Much better visibility. Especially for VFR. Flying to, uh, was it IMC conditions? Let me move my view so I can hit that uh, altitude hold when we get down there. slightly more throttle here to bring the help bring the nose up slow it down a little bit make it easier to hit right there at 3500 come on down girl thirty five hundred bring the power back up So I'll use a little more throttle here on the cruise instead of going like 61%. Alright, wants me to trim down now. Now it sounds happy. Man, I'm still getting like little flashes and spikes on occasion. My last two or two or so installs has been like that. I don't know why. Oh, come on, thing. We're going to use a lot more fuel on this flight, by the way. Trimmed it down a little extra there. So I'll have to check out the exhaust gas temperature. Since we're only at 3,500 feet years... I won't lean it out that much. 1443. 44 S. See, that's why it's easier at 4X because I can let it. Fuel pump now that we're cruising. 1444. It's leveled out. Hopefully, some will move it down to 85. See what happens here. Yep, she's climbing. Alright. So, about 50 minutes or so. We're just below the bad weather. It's the temperature. I like having that little thermometer there. 57, so we shouldn't have to worry about icing or anything. I believe, at that temperature. By the way, 113.35, I've already got that in there. There's an ILS frequency, although we won't be using it, but that is in there just in case. Alright, so everything looks good now. I... I I'm thinking we should bring the prop down to like 2300 though. I'm gonna... Let's see, it's at 24. Maybe we can bring it down to. I don't know if 80 is too low for this altitude or not. It's 2340. See, I thought it said no less than 80, but it might be no more than 80 actually. That's right there, about 2300. That'll be good. I do believe. If you know any better, tell me. But I may have already passed this episode made some more by the time you tell me. We've only got two more after this with this plane. All right, but anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and speed up for just a minute. we got 48 minutes. Uh, we won't have much of a descent now. We're going to go to 1600. I'll put a 1600 AGL, which will put us about 1,000 feet over so we can enter the traffic pattern. And I will be right back in just a minute.
Alright, everybody's slowing it down here. We gotta descend here. It's actually descending a little quicker than I had wanted. I've got the carb heat pulled. I'm gonna go ahead and push that back in. We've had icing problems a couple times. Uh, several times I've had to use it. Oh, so that's not very comforting. Eh, we're actually climbing now. Trying to go down to about 1,600 feet. If she'll let me. <laughs> I'm going to go full rich, 103,000, and high RPM. Uh, let's see, fuel pump can come on. I'm not sure if we should wait to put that on or not. I'm going to go ahead and put it on. And see, now we're, we're flying towards the Earth again. Over 2,000 on our, uh, that rate. Come on. I mean, a bit ridiculous. We're about five miles out here. Man, now all of a sudden we're in a dive. I had this thing... I mean, are we at normal speed? All right, we are at normal speed because it's not feeling like it. Right here is our 1600. Let's bring the nose up. Let's go back to 1600. All of a sudden, it just felt like we were at 4x and I couldn't control it. Power coming back up. Sounds like I don't want... Keep using the carb heat to make sure we're not icing up. Like I gotta say, it seems like we have been. There's 1600 on the nose. Hold that. A little more power there. Man, this has been crazy. That descent. Now I can start bringing the power back a bit. Let me bring my yoke back. Wow, that was uh, not fun. <laughs> I can't tell if we're just losing power because we're icing up or what, but uh, cause like I say, I've had to use the uh, carb heat several times. Look at the temperature, though. I mean, it shouldn't be a problem, right? At 52, is that is that not above icing? I would have thought it was. I want to bring my speed up. I just reset my altimeter. You can see we're a little high now. Alright, a mile out. Let's go ahead. Oh my goodness. Heading 060. The altitude thinks uh, we're off, but we're actually not now. I have to live. Handle that in a second. <laughs> a little busy. Turn into the traffic. Runway for landing. Six. Full stop. Why are we uh, in a dive now? Oh my god. That's not what I want to position, but. All right, why are all of a sudden uh, shit's just going crazy? Oh my goodness. I wanted to say downwind. Good God. I don't know why everything's just gone so damn crazy all of a sudden. It really feels like uh, we're going, like, I'm in 4X. And I think I, uh, ever since I have uh, did my reinstall, I think I have to re -go, go in and reset the sensitivity on my controls as well. That doesn't help. So we're both full. We're supposed to be at 1600. Yeah, I've got to reset the sensitivity. That's not good either. Yeah, just the slightest movement on the joystick. I don't really enjoy that. Got 
slightly high. The controls feel really awkward, I gotta say. It sounds like I'm losing my engine power again. she be I might go out a little further I don't I don't like the way this is going I'm gonna pull back on my power a little bit wow it's just it, it feels like everything is going in 4x and not normal speed I, it's just insane By the way, we should have our gear down already. All right, green light is on. That uh, see, uh, sounds like we're losing her again. I'm gonna go ahead and call base. I've got. I don't feel like I can do it at the same time. All right. First notch of flaps coming out. Controls feel very, very awkward. I'm not quite sure why. But I mean, the sensitivity I can tell is way off. By the way, this is hard to see this airport. Go ahead and say we're on final. I've actually, I cut it too tight. Second notch of flaps. We're getting a little quick here down the arc. I didn't come in straight at all. Literally at all. I've lo totally lost the airport. I think it's I think I'm seeing it straight up here. Man, this is just the end has been a little crazier than I would have thought. I didn't think it would be this hard. Full flaps, overshot it now, and we're a little high. And this has been nuts. Yeah, I really gotta adjust the settings. Oh, we're getting blown to the left. I gotta fight her off. There we go. Now we're coming back on it. Yeah, we end up cutting that on that base leg way too, way tighter. I thought we might uh actually getting a little too slow here. I feel like we're icing up because I can't get power. Bumpy. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Pitching way up. Yeah, it was not good. Man, this is a... Talk about a weird flight. I've struggled uh, on the Sentinel approach. Man, not what I wanted to do. I, mean, I, I haven't flown in a while. But see, I, I, we've, uh, I'm going at 75% just to get anything on the engine power. 
Like I'm at 50% on my joystick right now. She's idling. I mean, I guess it would be the carb heat. We rev it up and while well, we put the carb heat on, because it's going to drop the power, obviously. Yeah, the icing problems didn't didn't help because I was having enough problems there and see it that did help bring it back. Still though, I'm at ha uh, fifty percent and look at the uh, pressure there. Wow, this is maddening. I was struggling bad enough, and then you have those problems put on top of the strobes and landing lights are off. Transponder, I'll go ahead and turn that off. Don't know exactly where we should park. I guess we probably could probably just go straight ahead over there, or over here. Let's go over there. I, that might be the fuel area, though. I just think, I think maybe we just go straight ahead. Yeah, this is wild. I, I don't like flying in... Uh, I like flying in some inclement weather, but man, this was a lot tougher than I thought it would be. I mean, this is worse than... Uh, it was at Myrtle Beach. I was saying at Myrtle Beach it was kind of bad, but man, it wasn't anything like this. Yeah, I'm not sure why I'm having to use so much throttle uh, to get my RPMs up at all. I'm almost a full throttle on the joystick. I'm just going to go ahead and stop right here. The only thing I can think of is this icing. I don't I, I don't know that for sure. Fuel pump, I could turn that off after we landed. I'm just glad to be on the ground right now. To be honest, speedo heat coming off. Nav lights can go off. And let's go ahead and shut her down here. Beacon off. Mags off. Uh, actually, I should have turned this shit off as well. First. Avionics. Master switch. Let's go. Let's go over to Air Hauler 2 here. Get her paid. Let's see, where are we? Alright. Go ahead and unload this cargo. At least we didn't damage. It's hard to damage cigarettes, so I guess. <laughs> I'm glad that's over. That that weather, wow. The weather along with the ice, maybe if it was the weather wasn't I don't know. The weather being bad, it's just the icing that really worries me. Alright. So we took off at four ten fifty nine, landed at five seventeen. It says an hour six minutes. Took off with three hundred and four pounds of fuel, landed with two hundred and fifty three pounds of fuel. Max altitude, 4,055 feet. Max, I'm kind of glad we didn't go up to 5,500 like I had planned. A max pitch negative, or sorry, max pitch 23.68. Max roll 32.31. Max speed 151 knots. Minimum use uh, negative 0 0.5. Minimum use is 0. Max use 2.6. Max use is 0. Stall false, over speed false. Landing scripts in smooth. Landing gear down true. Landing surface asphalt. Surface damage 0. Landing damage 0. Came down 148.62 feet a minute. Landing speed 60.46. Landing pitch negative 4.6 and uh, landing roll 0 0.04. Landing heading 55.0. No, landing heading 55.0. All right, so it's kind of weird that they put the heading 55, not 0, 055. All right, so 55.0, landing wind speed 9, uh, landing wind direction 1. All right. Wow, that was uh, that was hair. I don't, I don't know about you all. For you all, that was hair raising to me. It was not uh, all that enjoyable. I gotta be honest. All right. So all these, there doesn't seem to be any flights. I've noticed that lately. Anywhere I am, like the uh, the good flights or anything is like way far away from. Me. That's kind of interesting, right there. It's kind of heavy. We could put it all in this plane, but it is kind of heavy. 
kind of leery of taking heavy flights anymore. Already you let's rally back to Myrtle Beach. We could do something like that because, that, well, that's in 10 hours. I don't really don't want to go back to Huntington. We've been Huntington so many times. And the only thing, I don't know, 70 in. Oh, we could do so, oh, but it's only six hours. I don't think I can do that because I got other stuff to do. Daggone you. That one's, but man, it's so heavy. I don't care about Windows updates right now. Leave me alone. Uh. Yeah, I don't know. We'll have to figure something out. 17, you know, that's too heavy and real long. Especially for that kind of weight. We'd have to carry a lot of fuel. And there's not a whole lot of flights, uh, except if, unless we want to go to Raleigh. I think this is the one we just did. Or no, it isn't. So there's another one actually going there? That's kind of odd. That pays more, but it's probably too much for the plane. I don't know what we'll do next. I kind of need to go over to Raleigh. I mean, we got all kinds of jobs there. I just don't really want to go to Huntington. We'll figure something out. So, uh, yeah, but that'll be, I guess that's it for this episode. I really hope you all did enjoy it. I'll catch you guys on the next flight.